Good afternoon. First responders are being credited in Brockport with getting several people out of a burning apartment building. There was so much damage, the building had to be torn down, leaving several people without a home. Kayla Green joins us live now from Brockport. Kayla, what are you hearing there? John, people I've talked to in the past couple of hours say they're still in shock. But this right here is what's left of the 700 building at the Viking Apartments. And we're going to give you a closer look there now. People who live here say they woke up in the middle of the night to smoke and flames. And now they're just trying to process what's happening. Firefighters say they aren't sure how it started, but the investigation is ongoing. Firefighters responded to the fire around 6 this morning and were able to contain it to this one building. So much damage was done, they ended up demolishing the whole building this afternoon. The fire chief says two people are in the hospital, but didn't give any more information about their injuries at this time. Jessica Tuttle lived here and says she woke up to the smell of smoke and saw flames on her balcony. She grabbed her son and they made it out safely, but they lost everything. The owners of Grinds 122 Cafe here in Brockport are collecting donations and are offering free meals and coffee to anyone affected. Nicole Battaglia is a manager and says she posted about it being a donation spot this morning. They've received a ton of clothing, food, and other supplies since then. Tuttle stopped by there earlier and says this is devastating, but the support from the community is incredible. Thank you. You know, I mean, you don't realize the loss until you go through this. So seeing this is, man, it's amazing. So whoever is donating, thank you. It's amazing. Especially with how 2020 is, you know, the whole coronavirus and all that, it's just, it's amazing. It makes me, like, emotional. It makes me very happy that I live somewhere where everyone cares about each other, whether they know them or don't know them. Now, we've been hearing from a few people who live here that their smoke alarm didn't go off this morning to alert them about the fire. The fire department hasn't been able to confirm whether or not that's true, but the investigation is being handled by the Monroe County Fire Bureau, and I have reached out to them but have not heard back about this smoke alarm question. Live in Brockport, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you.